Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. The IRS says the average tax refund is coming in at around $3,000 per person this year. The question now, what to do with that extra cash? Do you take a vacation? Do you pay off some debt or do something else? Well, our financial expert Joe Burt joining us in studio this morning with his advice. Joe, good morning. Always good, good, to, see good you. to see you. Again. So what are some of the top things people spend those tax refunds on first off? Well, normally they spend it on pleasure items, which is a mistake, you know, like you said, vacations, you know, they, they look at it as kind of a windfall, or that some people use their IRS refund as their savings account, knowing that they've got this money coming in, coming in the spring, and we're going to use it for our summer vacation. And I understand that completely, but that isn't the way you build long-term financial security. So the real thing is, is to suck it up, be an adult, and do the right thing. And the number one thing is to pay off any credit card debt that you have. Number one piece of advice, pay off the credit card yeah, debt. Because that'll, that'll eat away your retirement security quicker than anything. Particularly if you have 12, 14, 16, 18, 22% credit cards, use that refund and get rid of that debt. When it comes to choosing which credit card, because most everyone has more than one credit card, right. which one do you tackle first? The lowest amount sure. owed or the highest interest? Well, there's two ways to look at it. Financially, the best one is the highest interest rate, okay? But psychologically, for many people, get rid of one of them. This way, you only have one less credit card to pay. And so there's two ways to look at it. Financially, once again, paying off the highest credit card. Now, the next thing you want to look at if you're getting a refund is what else, if I don't have any credit card debt, what yeah. can I use this money for? Put it in your IRA. If you have an, if you have the ability to take a tax deduction for your IRA, if you're under the age of 50, you can put 6,000 in. If you're over the age of 50, put 7,000 in. And what that will do, it perhaps gets you a bigger refund even next year. And then you take that refund, you put it in again, and that kind of compounds and snowballs for you. What about the idea of adjusting your allowances so you maybe break even at the end of the year? Because a lot of people say, sure. look, that's my money. It could sure. be gaining interest sure. rather than being taken out there, of my well, check. There's no question about it. And, and you know what, Andrew, thinking about that, if you've got a little bit more money coming in from your paycheck, you know what most people do? Spend it. Exactly. <laughs> and then, and so, so what you're saying financially is right. Yes. You know, if you can take that savings and begin to save it for yourself, that extra money that you're bringing home. But but unfortunately, we don't do that. So maybe getting this refund, if you're smart about it, the other thing you want to, may want to consider is putting it into a health savings account. Ah. You know, a lot of companies today have a high deductible plan, and yes. you've got to pay the high deductibles and the co-pays and the, and the uh, prescription and all that stuff. So individual could put $3,500 tax deductible into that plan, $7,000 for a couple. And an HSA account is a great way to save for retirement because it's a triple benefit. Number one, you get a tax deduction going in. Number two, the money grows without being taxed. Number three, it comes out tax-free. And the, what you want to do if you build up a balance in that thing is to invest it. Don't leave it in some low-yielding account. In fact, we, we suggest to our clients is that you use that health savings account as kind of a retirement plan. Really? Yeah, because you get tax deduction. It grows without being taxed. When you take it out, it's tax-free. Now, you have to use it in retirement to pay your medical bills, but it's a great way to pay those expenses, and it's a great, it's a great opportunity to save money on taxes and protect yourself. So if you haven't yet, look into the HSA right. at work, uh, and also right. your number one piece of advice pay off those off credit, credit cards. Card, right. Or if you don't have an IRA, or perhaps increase the contribution going, going into your 401k. You know, you've know, got a little bit more money, go to HR and tell them to boost your contribution to your 401k. Joe, always good to see you. Where good can people you. find you? Just Google me two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. There you go. It's that easy. Thanks, Joe, Andrew. thank you.